Mobile applications in general have many components that are dynamic in length and presentation. These stem from generic ways to structure the content, but diverge in the details. For example, lists are a common feature. Think about your Twitter feed or Facebook timeline. Both offer a different twist on a typical list, with each row on the list presenting information in a unique way. Twitter uses the image avatar on the left, with the text and the information filling the rest of the row. Facebook offers a similar profile picture to the left, but the rows can be different sizes based on whether images or videos have been posted, and have the ability to extend vertically if there are comments on a post. How does one convert this data, which may be status updates, wall posts, or retweets, and convert it into a common form to be presented in a list? In Android, we use adapters. Adapters take a variety of inputs and output a view which organizes and presents that data. In some cases, this view may be just a list. In others, it may be a slideshow of images. In our case, we'll be taking data we input into our adapter and converting to items in our grid view. An adapter is a Java class. Android comes with a built-in class base adapter that provides the methods needed for any view using an adapter to convert data to content. To create a custom adapter, we'll extend this class, just like we did with the activity class, and implement our own adapter. We'll create an instance of this class and then assign it as the adapter for the view which we want it to affect. The inputs into our adapter can vary widely in number and type, but essentially we have two main inputs, the data and the layout for one row or item. In our case, our data will be the color of the boxes. We'll create a simple layout that will also be ingested by the adapter. The adapter's job is to take the data and match it up with components of the item layout. There are some built-in adapter layout combinations that can result in simple and straightforward views, such as a list with one image and one text view per row. Most of the time, however, we'll need to create our own to ensure we can customize the look and feel of the content to achieve our desired effect. We'll need to code our own logic to match the data correctly with what components we wish to update. Let's go through an example. Picture a layout with an image, a button, and a snippet of text. Our custom adapter could hold two string arrays and an integer array to hold references to the location of the image resources we want to use. Within our adapter, we would alter the getView method, which is used to assemble the resulting view that is outputted from the adapter to load the layout we provided for a generic item. We will then find the views that we wish to change based on the data input. In this example, this would be an image view and two text views. We would then assign the appropriate strings from the string array to the text view and set the image view's image as the reference from the in integer array. After that's finished, we return this item. The adapter rinses and repeats for each set of data that's in view on the screen. So if we have four sets of two strings and an image reference, our adapter will perform this four times if the content all fits on the screen. It's definitely a little confusing and might be hard to wrap your mind around at first. Following along with some code might help, which is what we'll be doing in the next video.